Hello everyone, welcome into today's video which is going to be my monthly empties. I love doing these because not only do I get the gratification of chucking all this stuff in the garbage when I'm done, but I also get the gratification of sharing with you guys what really worked and what I'm going to repurchase and what is not going to be on my radar at all from now on. So we're gonna dive into this, but if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing by clicking the button below. Don't forget to hit the little bell because that notifies you of any future videos that I do have. If all of you wouldn't mind, please taking just a second and hitting the thumbs up button. It really does help generate my video out there. Okay, this I've talked about over and over again. I have gotten so many people ask me recently what I use for a hair color. I just use a box from L'Oreal. Like once or twice a year, I'll go in and I'll have some highlights put in my hair. But really, uh, just to keep maintenance up, I just use a box from L'Oreal. What I do though, to take all the brassiness out because that does not make my hair ashy or does not take the brassies out of my hair, is I use Pravana, the Perfect Blonde Purple Toning Mask. This is an extremely deep purple color and it takes all of the brassiness away. And I do use this at least every other time I wash my hair. And what I do is I'll put a lot in my hand and rub it all through my hands and then I am just going to make sure that my hair is completely covered with this stuff. So I'm pretty generous with it and then I'll pile my hair on top of my head and I will just, you know, let it sit on there for like 20 minutes almost. And then when I rinse it out, I have this very ashy color that has no brass in it and I love this stuff. I've repurchased this, I think this is my third bottle. So I've got another one in the shower right now. And this one is from Kenra. This is the Thermal Styling Spray Firm Hold number 19. This is what I use to help keep my curls in place through the day when I am curling my hair. What this does, it is a, a very firm hold. So I will just lift my hair, spray, 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 spray it a lot. And then I will let it dry, brush through my hair, and then go ahead and curl my hair however I'm going to. And it will feel a little bit crunchy when you do that. But as soon as you take your fingers and you tossel your hair out, it's not gonna feel like that at all. So this is a must for me, not only for hold, but also because it does have that thermal protectant in it. And then also from Kenra, I love this stuff. This is the Platinum Blow Dry Spray. This is another thermal protectant, but it almost is like an oil product, a very, very light oil. So I will spray this across my hand a couple times and then I'll rub my hands together and then I will just go through my hair. And also what it does is it helps the blow dry process to be a little bit faster. So it's not dry and it still gives you that thermal protectant with your hair. So I actually love that stuff too. And I just barely talked about this, but it's in my empty. So I'm just going to talk about it again. This is the Organo. I think that's the brand, how you say it. Living Silica Collagen Booster. One, it strengthens joints and bones. Two, it beautifies skin, hair, and nails. And I love this because it has made my hair feel so strong and I feel like my hair is very healthy right now and it's growing a lot faster than I've seen before. So this is non-GMO, um, this is gluten-free, it's made in the USA and it's made in a lab that is has strict quality control. So this is a little bit more on the pricey side but there's a lot of servings in here and this took me a while to go through. I put some in my water every morning and then I'm drinking it all day long through um, my water and I feel like it just distributes a little bit better definitely will repurchase that one this is a product that I have talked ad nauseum about on my channel I love that word ad nauseum but this is the Sukoyaka Suhara urea moisture lotion it is an essence I guess in Japan um, the their lotions are called essence or the way you translate it is actually an essence but this is a fantastic product. It is super hydrating. Now, in the summer, when I'm a little bit more warm, when I'm sweating a little bit more, I don't need as much of this, but I still use this. So it is extremely hydrating. I will use this as my last step, as my lotion instead of an essence, because it works so good at locking in all of the serums and all the things that I've used already. And I love this, and I've repurchased it for years now, you guys, and so yeah. That is a definite absolute. I went through a perfume, you guys. Anyway, now, this one is from Juicy Couture, and this is the Juicy Couture Noir, and I love this fragrance. I'm actually really sad that it's gone. It has a very musky with fruity fragrance and vanilla tones in it. 
The one thing I will say about Juicy Couture, even though I absolutely love all of their fragrances, is they don't last a very long time. And I think I gave this tip on another video. If you have a perfume that doesn't last a very long time, spray some into your hair. It's gonna be in your hair all day. Put a tiny bit of a fragrance-free oil, like squalane oil, like right here behind your ear, and then spray it on there and rub it in really good. And you're gonna have that fragrance on there. You can do the same on your wrists, anywhere you want to. Spray it into your clothes. I know that the, none of these stain. So I have loved having these. I continue to repurchase them and really excited that I went through a whole one. I'm trying really hard to go through the ones I have instead of purchasing new, so. That's kind of a good thing. This is from um, Osmosis MD. This is their Renew Advanced Retinol Serum. And I use this on days that I don't actually use my Retin-A, so I'm using it opposite days and still getting some really good benefits of having skin turnover, that collagen booster, all that good stuff that Retin-A does or Retinol does. So this is a medical grade skincare. This one was sent to me. I did have a few products sent to me by Skin Beautiful RX, and I'm so thankful that she did that for me. Lovely lady named Leah that runs an independent um, skin store that she has. She has all kinds of products there, but she sent me this osmosis, um, the retinol serum, and she also sent me the Neogenesis Intensive Moisture. Now that's intensive moisture, I wouldn't say that I felt like it was intensive. I felt like it was a medium moisturizer, but you guys know that I have extremely dry skin. I'm not sure if I will be repurchasing this one, but I'm definitely going to be repurchasing the osmosis. So just wanted to make sure I told you about those both good products I just feel like one worked better and I saw a little bit better change in it than I did the other I got this little sample. I don't even remember where I got it Anyway, it's from Dermalogica and this is a daily microfoliant and it is a powder Exfoliant and I really loved this you guys. I like powder exfoliants Because I like that you can put the amount of water in there that you want to and control how much your skin's get, getting buffed but I loved the texture of this too because it was really um, fine. And so it did a really good job of buffing out my skin, especially the facial skin that gets um, a needs to be a little bit more sloughed as you use Retin-A. So I did like that, but you know what? Um, good Molecules has one that I'm trying out that I think I probably won't repurchase that one because of. This is from The Ordinary. This is their 100% plant-derived squalane oil, squalane oil. And I love squalane oil. I have some from the uh, Good Molecules that I'm using right now, another company I have some of. Squalane oil is just an oil that sinks in. It's a super hydrator. It's great for anti-aging properties. It's wonderful to mix in with foundation. It doesn't interfere with the foundation. It will just help the foundation go on more easily if you have a thicker foundation um, and it will help you hydrate if your foundation is too matte and you are dry. So love that oil. Definitely gonna be re repurchasing it very soon. And this one is the virgin chia seed oil from the ordinary i don't think i'm going to be repurchasing this one not a bad smell but a weird smell to me and it just really put me off and um so yeah that one is the one that i'm not going to be repurchasing then from pixie i have mentioned this in a video too before this is their hydrating milky makeup remover i love this stuff you guys i try out so much skincare um this one was sent to me but I love the pump dispenser on this. So I could put my pad, my cotton round, or I have facial pads that I use that are washable. And you just put that on there and then set it on your eyes. And you just pretty soon, it's just like melts everything off. And I loved using this. It was a really great product. And when I get rid of some of my other ones, I probably will repurchase it. Although I have been using just regular oil lately to take off my eye makeup. So that's another thing. I don't know for sure. From Good Molecules, the Super Peptide Serum. Um, I have talked about this over and over again. However, I think I like the Buffet from The Ordinary a little bit better than this one, but even better than both of those, I like from Cause de Baja, I have a Super Peptide Serum that I that use all the time. And so I probably actually won't be repurchasing peptide serums like this anymore because I found that one. I love it when I completely get to use up a makeup product, especially when it's a powder product. From Sephora Collection, this is the Contour Color. This is in Second Chance. Um, I originally heard about this from Trish Oliver years ago. Fantastic color on the contour because it's gonna leave you with that shadow color instead of any sort of a tan warm color. 
And the dude outside decided he was going to mow his lawn as I was just starting this, of course. So <laughs> forgive me if you hear the lawnmower in the background. Nothing I can do about it. From Ardell, I used up a black in the Want to Get Lucky eyeliner. These are great eyeliners that stay in the waterline like nothing else I've ever seen. You can buy these at Sally Beauty if you want to. But basically, these are ones that you can't work with a long time. So they're really waterproof. So once you go in there and you swipe that across to your eyes, don't go back to the other eye and then come back because it's not going to work. It's going to ruin that, that eye. So make sure you get your line nice and dark with this or whatever you're going to do, whether you like it lighter or darker, make sure you get it to where you want it to be and then leave it. And you're going to have that on there. It is the best as far as staying in the water line. And yeah, I'm going to be repurchasing that. I have it in every color that they, they make. And I wish that they would make a bunch more colors from NYX. This is the precision brow pencil crayon in ash brown. Um, it has a spoolie on this end, which I of course lost the little cover for, but the end of this is kind of like a really tight oval. I don't think you're going to be able to see that but it's a really tight oval. I like the product in here. I felt like it was a lot like their micro brow, but I do like the micro brow a little bit better because I get a little bit more control because of the way my hands shake. And then I used up two things from Smashbox. I got these during the holidays and this is the primerizer in a trial size. And this one is the photo, photo finish primer water. I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing either of these because I use Max Fix Plus usually. Um, also a really good primer water you can get from hard candy. It's a fantastic one. I think it's a coconut primer water. I like it a lot. And the same thing with the primerizer. I felt like this was just more of a really super light moisturizer. And of course I'm dry, so it doesn't really help me to not use a really good moisturizer and then use a primer that takes care of my pores. So probably not going to be repurchasing that. And then also from Pixie, I used up one of their glosses. I loved this. It gives, it's a little bit of that plumping cooling effect. I did love it as a clear gloss and I used it actually more at night than anything. Um, because I felt like it hydrated my lips all night long. If I was going to give a recommendation and somebody asked me about Pixie Beauty and their um, plumping glosses, I would say yes, go for it. And then I have four mascaras to talk about. The Doll Tan Effortless Lash, they sell this on HSN, this or QVC, one of the two. This is one that I would not get. It didn't build. I don't feel, feel like it did a great deal for my lashes at all. So I would skip that one. It smudged a lot. It was just kind of a mess. From Milani, their new The Waterproof one. I really like this formula. I loved the way it fanned out my lashes, gave me thickness, gave me fullness and length, but I felt like this dried out too quickly. You know, you're supposed to replace them every three months anyway, but at seven weeks, almost eight weeks, I'm noticing that this is too dry for me to continue to use. So I'm not sure that I'm going to repurchase that one just because it didn't last a long time as a product and I didn't feel like I got my money's worth out of it. From BH Cosmetics is the Stellar Lash that I used up. I really love that this one does all of the good things for your lashes, fans it out, gives you volume, does the lengthening on it, but this one starts to flake at about hour six through eight. You can go ahead and take another mascara and put it over top of it and still have the great benefits of this one and you know, a, still a waterproof type thing. But you know, in purchasing things, if I'm gonna get one, I want one that's just kind of one and done. So even though I really loved using it, I wish that it just lasted longer and didn't flake quite as soon. And then this is my favorite out of all of those that we just talked about. This is from Color Cover Girl, it's the Exhibitionist. This is the waterproof. I actually really love this formula. This I did not get clumpy too fast. It is a really great one for making your lashes fan out. I love the formula on it as far as it being easier to take off than most of my other waterproof mascaras that I have. Lengthens, volumes, really is a beautiful mascara. So that one is a definite repurchase. As a matter of fact, I think this is my third tube on it. Really love that one. And then from Revlon, this is one of my very favorite primers ever. And I heard about this from my good friend, Sherry at Graceful Beauty. And this is the Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect Primer Base 
this with an SPF of 34 and it's broad spectrum. And I love this in the summer, you guys, because you get that extra protection. It does really help your makeup to stay on longer. And yeah, this is one that I have like three or four that I ordered off of Walmart because they had them in a three pack. So I have a lot of backups of this and I will continue to use it. So that is it for all of my empties today, you guys. I am so glad that I got to share these with you because I'm ready to go to the garbage with them. If you guys like seeing empties video, please give this a thumbs up on your way out of here. I'd really appreciate it. I am really surprised how fast I'm using stuff up, which is really great because I don't feel like such a hoarder. And so I'm really enjoying using a lot of things up right now. So I hope that you're all having an amazing day. Please take care of yourselves. Stay safe, stay sanitized, stay hydrated, and I will see you all in my next video. I love you. Bye-bye. No, 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 no,